Good morning, lovely people. It is 6.15 p.m. I just got done working out at the gym and I have some thoughts, you know, about people at the gym. Mostly in the pool slash jacuzzi slash sauna and steam room. If your gym has a steam room, that's sick. I wish mine did, but it doesn't. So, first of all, turn my headlights on. Cool, it's fine, I got it. If there are signs everywhere that say, do not bring your bags, purses, and all sorts of other shit on the gym floor, don't fucking do it, okay? Lockers are like $2 at Walmart. Just go to Walmart and get, or not a locker, well, a lock. Just go get a freaking lock and put your shit in the locker where it belongs. Can't count how many times I've had to ask people to move stuff because there's not a whole lot of room in a gym and they just got their shit everywhere and I'm like, yo, trying to pretend to work out here. Just kidding. That's my other pet peeve. People who go to the gym to pretend to work out. Why? Like, I don't, I'm sure it makes them feel better because they're like, oh, I went to the gym today, even though they didn't actually do anything at the gym. Like, it's cool, I get it, whatever, but don't sit on machines. That's all I ask. You can pretend to work out all you freaking want. I, don't, I honestly do not give a shit. But don't sit on the machines, man, because I'm trying to use those machines and I'm actually working out. Don't sit there and text somebody for 20 minutes and then get off the machine. <laughs> Just sit, stand there or sit on the floor. I don't care. Actually, don't sit on the floor because then you're just as bad as the bags that are everywhere. <laughs> I don't remember what other things I had to bitch about. That's most of them. Oh, for jacuzzi, sauna, pool people, leave your shit in the locker room, okay? There are so many chairs around the pool, jacuzzi, sauna area, that I don't, I don't wanna have to move your stuff off a chair that you should have just left in the locker room. And the hooks, the hooks are there for towels, everyone. Put your freaking towel on the freaking hook. Don't put it on the freaking chair because that's where my butt goes, not your freaking towel, you know? And lastly, if everybody could stop talking so much shit about people who start working out on the first of the year, <laughs> it's really mean. Also, overweight people that are at the gym, you go guys, fuck yeah, you, you do it. You do your shit, man. If you wanna start on the first of the year, by all means, you do that. You can stand there and stare at that machine for five minutes because you have no idea how to use it all you want. I'll help you out. <laughs> or go ask somebody, I don't know. But just stop, stop. In general, if everybody could stop, <laughs> after I just said a bunch of judgy negative shit, Stop judging people. <laughs> Stop being so negative all the time. If somebody wants to start their year by trying to get in shape and be healthier, just support them. Like, yeah, that's cool. I know all the memes about what the gym's gonna look like in the next for the next two weeks, and it's all just like a swarm of people. Yeah, who cares? I. It's annoying. I get it, but. Who cares, man? They're doing their best. They just tried with the best darn intentions. But just leave your shit in the locker room, please. <laughs> That's all I care about. It's really annoying and it's a trip hazard. And then, and then it's real awkward because everybody's wearing headphones. Also, another question I have, who goes to the gym and doesn't wear headphones? Like, it just seems like it'd be awful. So I have, I need headphones. I'm not always listening to music. Sometimes I'll watch YouTube videos or something. <laughs> but you know, I don't want to hear everybody breathing hard and 
the shitty music that they play in the gym. Like, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> Mad props to the people who just go and do a full workout with no entertainment. Good on you, but like, that just sounds awful. Back to my original point. I have headphones in, you have headphones in, and then I have to tap you on the shoulder and take my headphones out so you can take your headphones out just so I can ask you to move your fucking bag or water bottle because it's in the goddamn weight. And it's just a, it's a whole interaction that doesn't need to happen. Also, speaking of interactions, I just keep thinking of stuff that bugs me at the gym. If I'm sitting in the sauna or the hot tub, don't talk to me, okay? I don't have headphones on because I'm way too scared to put any electronics in that area. Please don't talk to me, okay? I don't wanna hear about your project. That's a really bad place to make a U-turn person. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I don't wanna hear about your project pyramid scheme. And I don't want to hear about the bad jokes you have, and I don't want to. I don't want to hear it. Okay, just don't. Don't talk to me. Okay, just don't. No matter what, I will not take it well. If I'm making eyes at you, by all means, you can talk to me. Say hi. But if I'm sitting there, especially being very, very obviously uninterested in your conversation, and pretending like I'm just can't hear half the things you're saying, stop talking. Don't sit there and talk to me for 20 minutes because I'm too nice and non-confrontational, which I'm changing this year, New Year resolution, that if I don't want somebody to talk to me, I'm just gonna say, hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> In a very polite way, like, excuse me, sir, stop talking to me because I don't give a shit. Cause I can't waste, I can't count how much time and energy I have wasted on ignoring people at the gym, in the hot tub, or the sauna because they feel the need to talk to me for 20 freaking minutes. And it's just, it's not good, you know? It's just, just stop, just stop. Just stop, leave your shit in the fucking locker room, please, because it's just getting all up in the way and then the chair is for your ass, not your towel. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit.